Hi everybody, Maria here from Shoppers Spotlight and my co-host Sarah. Hi. Hey, Sarah. And today on our episode, we have Cheryl with us with Creative Memories. Hi Cheryl, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very Christmassy, just like you guys. Um, it was a beautiful day the last few days, no snow, and my son was actually very upset about this um, because we played in the snow already once. Um, but hey, we're having a pajama market that's Christmassy, so kind of cool for us. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So um, we have had a few pajama markets. Is this your first one with us or it's actually your second one, correct? Yeah, this is my second one. The first one I came as a shopper. Nice. Yes. Mm. Awesome. Well, that's the cool thing. This actual spotlight is just for the shoppers so that you can see what Cheryl's all about, see how amazing her products are, how amazing she is, answer the cool secret question at the end, and then you get hooked up with the grand prize basket, which is amazing, and you get a little bit of every vendor. So, Sarah, I think yes. next time we should like switch the whole, like the admin and admin stuff and you and I could win because I kind of like the basket. I know. I always feel that way too. Like, oh, I wish I could get in to win the grand prize. Yeah. This time I was like, why, why do I have the prizes coming to my house? This is like horrible. I can <laughs> see what I want to buy. And I'm like, Hey baby. So if I make sales at the PJ market, how about I just, you know, give to the other ladies <laughs> <laughs> you're hilarious oh, i will dear. say i think it's super fun getting to interview all of our awesome vendors and getting to know them better because we made some pretty awesome friends this week yes this is true it's yeah it's very um amazing even with you know covid or not being able to like go to everybody's house that you have things like zoom when they actually work it's a, a blessing <laughs> that's very true yes so cheryl we just love uh the products that you have um with you today why don't you start by telling us a little bit about creative memories so creative memories is scrapbooking products for your photos so we have albums we have the traditional that you can make all the pages yourself and showcase your photos that way. We have what's called Fast to Fab, where the pages are pre-printed and you can put your photos on there and showcase them that way. And we also have digital. So for those of you that don't print your photos and you like to make digital books, we also have that. So nice options for people who want to start scrapbooking, who already are scrapbookers, who just like me, love their photos and want to show them off. That's, That's awesome. fantastic. I am a very crafty person, but I've never really been able to get into scrapbooking. I always mm -hmm. feel like my pictures are kind of all over the place. They're on various digital platforms. And um, I love that you have like some card kits and mm -hmm. that you have some, like you said, those pages that are like pre-done. So if I did want to make a couple of nice ones, I could just like take my picture to stick it on there and I don't really have to worry about trying to put it all together myself. That's right. Which is yes. awesome. I, uh, I have a Costco membership. Yay. So I print pictures and I have a big hallway full of frames, but all the other pictures are waiting for that time when this mama has time to scrapbook again. So I've been eyeing up your stuff. And so, yeah, that's my hobby in the background since you guys can all see. Hi Trevor. <laughs> Not you ladies are warriors, that's for sure. It's a different interview, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Go this way while you take your coat off. Okay. Get out of my you, Trevor. See him. Take it off and stop here. <laughs> well, <laughs> Cheryl, you've turned into the right interview tonight if he starts stripping on screen. <laughs> He's and the baby. I have to work my eyes. <laughs> oh, you ladies. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> <I'm ready. laughs> well, I did be. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um now there is something to scrapbook. That oh 
<laughs> it's too late. You should never do interviews late at night. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're more fun this way. Uh, um, but what I don't saying- even have any alcohol, like. <laughs> <laughs> because Maria is pregnant. We don't even have any alcohol. This is just pure late night getting is not too much Halloween candy. <laughs> anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so, get this back on track a little um, bit here. Cheryl, why don't you tell us about some of your uh, favorite products or some things that you'd like to show us? Excellent. So I love, love, love our border maker system. Uh, this is a very popular item. Mine is older, so the one in the catalog looks a little bit different, just different colors, really. So it comes with um, three parts. So you have this part, it's um, a ruler of sorts, and it has a magnetic strip. And one thing I didn't set out, just a second, is a piece of paper. <laughs> the most Don't important worry. part. We're in my scrapsuary, so I've got everything everywhere. A scrapsuary, I love that. The paper slides right in here, and then you close it, and the magnetic strip will hold that piece of paper in place, and then I just take this little blue part and it folds underneath, and then I take this little housing, and there's a little hole there, right? So we have all different kinds. So this is our system, and these are called border maker cartridges. So there's all different ones. And I think, you know, Maria, your little guy would like that one. Oh, of course. Cars one. Uh, this is a really fun one, just for pretty much anything. Cable chain, that one's called. Yeah. The current ones. We have the Apple. Oh. And fun to go with our Christmas market, the stocking. Yay! These just slide in here, you'll feel it click. There's some little feet that are on there. They'll fit into these grooves at the bottom. So when you're punching, you'll just, you'll feel it. So it will slide in, line up, and then you're gonna punch, 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 punch all the way up your paper. Nice! And by the miraculous, you know, baba boom of television, I don't know what you call it, Zoom meetings, Look what you get! A little oh, so cute. border. Wow, that's really nice. Uh, this is the cable chain. Nice. That it. was fast, Cheryl. Good job. I know. Isn't it amazing? And apples, are, you know, uh -huh. late night snack. Some Christmas stockings. Oh. And then something that's really fun is you could switch it up. So I did oh. the cable chain. Oh cars, cable chain, cars, you know, bump That's ahead, cool. right, Maria? You know, kind of looks like a bumpy road. I don't know. So yeah, you know, that's awesome. Pictures that might go. And so a really simple scrapbook page is just to take one or two of these borders and add your photos, right? So, I totally did not expect that. I thought you were saying yeah, I mean, like you could make the, the end of the paper cool. Yeah. Not, not like you could do that. <laughs> So this, these <laughs> ones, when you punch them, it comes completely off your paper. This one here, the on the go, the car one, when you punch it, it stayed attached. So then I took my 12 inch trimmer okay. and cut it shorter, but you could That's absolutely cool. do it that way as well. See, whatever you want, you are creative and you don't even know it. Oh. So, yeah, people think I can't scrapbook, but I, I promise you, you can. So there's yeah, hope for me yet. I got a 16 year old. This is going on his driver's license pages. He doesn't know it yet, but that's where it'll show up. <laughs> that's awesome. So that is our border maker system and it's really popular and it's a lot of fun and there's tons of different cartridges. So you can do all kinds of things with it. And then the other thing that I have is, this is our Christmas album this year. It is called Christmas Spirit. And I don't know if you can tell, but those stars, they kind of sparkle, ladies. Yeah, they're glittery. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then, you know, the town down below. And I was talking to you before we started recording about our Fast to Fab albums. This is what a Fast to Fab album is. All of us moms, all of us people who like to scrapbook, who love photos, we're busy. We don't have a lot of time. So open it up. Inside, you have the inside. It's just, it's beautifully decorated. You can write in your year, nice. your family, whatever you've done. And the pages are pre-printed. So. Oh, I love that. So all you have to do is add your photos and maybe some journaling, 
right? So you might be like, nice. oh, this is, you know, DeGraff Family Christmas, and you put some of your photos on there. Um, maybe you did a sing-along or something at a church, who knows, then you want to put that on there. And then, yeah, so these are all pretty nice. good. Really fun, really beautiful. Very classy. Yeah, yeah. very and elegant. And then if you want to get more creative, you right. can your border maker punch and add that. Oh, it looks so cute. Yeah. You're going to inspire me to get those scrapbooks out and get going. That's well, awesome. Every year at Christmas, or almost every year at Christmas, I end up getting my sister-in-law uh, like a gift card to like our big local crafting store. Mm -hmm. I won't say the name for just in case, copyright. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and I sent her there because she loves scrapbooking and I never know what to get her. Um, yeah. And so I love that your stuff seems like really easy that you could like, I could just pick up like that album with yeah. those cartridge thing and she'd be like good to go to start putting her Christmas memories together right after the holidays. She would probably really right. love that. That's right. It'd be this Hopefully. Actually, you can get them as a gift box bundle with the album, a pen, I think it's a tape runner and embellishments that you can get as a nice gift box set. So yeah, it would make an awesome gift. And Hopefully the she's not watching Sarah. And then you can <laughs> then you can hook her up with a new uh, Christmas present this year. Or maybe I she'll know, comment like, below. Yes, yes, yes. Great <laughs> idea. Yes, she would. She would. I knew she was in our she was in the last market, but she's not in uh, this one this time around. And um, I kind of checked up beforehand so I could say things like this <laughs> and not have her say, oh my gosh, I know what she's getting me. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I was like a pretty good scrapbooker before um, Trevor came back in my life and I got busy and married and kids. So um, yeah, I'm going to check out your stuff and see if I can get a few things to add to it. Because I clearly have had like three years of none or almost four. So that's a lot of stuff going on. And sometimes it's just a matter of carving out the time, not necessarily right. even buying more scrapbook product, but saying, hey, Cheryl, I'm interested in scrapbooking. When is your next workshop, right? Don't say that. Don't say that. My husband's listening. I definitely <laughs> need a few more supplies. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Did you see do that too? But, you know, I'm just saying. But like, yes. Come and schedule the time to actually use it. I, I don't want people to buy supplies and then leave it right. in the bag in the corner, right? Could say, when is your next workshop? And yeah, you know, we can do a workshop. We can do a Zoom one. So sometimes just knowing, even for myself, right? If I know, hey, someone's going to hop on Zoom and they're going to scrapbook and I'm going to scrapbook, then I'm actually going to do it. Yeah, I think that sounds like a perfect date. Yeah. It does. Can you tell me, or to us, I should say, <clears throat> A bit more about what a workshop is like. So I do different workshops. Um, one workshop I do is called a project recipe uh, workshop and so basically I will kit up some of the most current paper and we will make a two-page spread and I'll walk you through. So just like when you have a recipe to make lasagna at home and you would have the steps and all the ingredients that you need the recipe I will give you all the ingredients and then we walk through it together and at the end of the night oh. you have a two-page spread and I usually do that for, usually two hours is what I plan for that we have a little snack kind of in between we chat we share our photos and then at the end of the night you walk away with two pages and you think if you come out once a month for my project recipe class at the end of the year you have now 24 pages it's a nice size little album, right? And it works out really well. Like this time of year, we're looking at doing Christmas stuff and then we get into winter and then there'll be something kind of New Year. So we kind of go thematically as the products are coming out with the nice. seasons and the themes. So you have this album at the end, 24 pages and your pictures are on it. You've had some time to journal and write and it's just a lot of fun. So that would be one example of a workshop I've done. I've done the card classes as well, because we have the card kits and they're beautiful and they're just really fun to make and it's fun to make them together with other people. So I've done that and we also do, um, I'll do like an all day crop or an evening crop and then people just bring their supplies, they work on their own thing and depending on what it is, uh, we'll probably have games, there'll be prizes, there's always yummy food and if you need ideas, I've got those as well. So yeah, that's kind of 
what a crop might look like or a workshop might look like if you so um with covid and mm -hmm. different regulations and such um yes. most of your stuff is online and stuff right now or how is that working for you i've had a few in-person ones uh mm -hmm. just depends on people's comfort level if they right come to our home i've done that but i have also done uh zoom as well okay i did well um, yeah. yep there you go <laughs> i did one class that was i think it was 12 pages in an hour and so we did it all over zoom and it went really well and the ladies loved it so i kind of gauge what is the interest i'll put stuff out there but i always feel like it's good if someone says to me hey i want to do this then i'm going to help make that happen um nice yeah that's so you fun. you um both are part of my like covid 10 that have been near me so you guys could come to my house and we could have a scrapbooking party yes i can. would totally be there okay we'll make it happen. <laughs> nice sure. that's that's so exciting um i know for me and well sarah and i'm guessing you as well um we love christmas mm -hmm. and uh as christmas well as soon as halloween's over for me to be honest because i hate halloween sorry ashley um <laughs> but she um but then i just it just is more joyful and everything's just more like ah and so i have the christmas thing going on and now you're like telling me i can scrapbook again i'm excited i might not sleep tonight <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> she'll be dreaming in cards and photographs that's right lately i've been dreaming of my work so this is way better <laughs> That's well, here. I think um, speaking about all that Christmas joy, we have some Christmas questions for you, Cheryl. We do. Right. And the, uh, first, the, first, <laughs> we'll find the first one is uh, eggnog, yes or no? I have to say no, and I know you guys aren't going to like it. <laughs> I loved it as a kid. I would drink it all the time. But as I've grown older, you know, just a little bit older, because I'm not that old. Um, I just, I don't appreciate it the same. So, sorry guys. No. Two in a row, Sarah. Pardon? Two in a row. I know. I think actually uh -oh. it's not two in a row, it's three in a row, because the interviews that we did the other day were also no's. We're, no's are winning out all of a sudden. We need to find some... Uh... Here's the deal though. If we get together and scrapbook, I will bring eggnog for you. Oh, well, that's you don't thing. have to do that. You, you guys can't. can drink eggnog while you scrapbook. Because I have to make it because I can't have egg. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's tricky. But I do have a recipe that was fabulous. As long as I find the right one out of the three, then I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that um, being with Epicure, we it uh, hasn't come out this year, but last year we came out with like a bottle of eggnog spice so that you could actually make things taste like more like the eggnog mm -hmm. spices. And that's a great like egg free way of adding eggnog flavoring, but that wouldn't really help you, Cheryl. <laughs> it's okay though. You made cranberry bliss bars for me, so I forgive you. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Cheryl, that was you that made those bars. I may have received some of those bars as a baby <laughs> for babysitting, and they were outstanding. That was my that was my batch, though. That one. And my husband is sitting over there nodding his head because I let him have one, and he's yes. just like, "Oh yeah, they were good." <laughs> um, we do a have a second question. Recipe. Yes, me too. We do have a second Christmas question for you. Okay. The question is, da, 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 da. if you could hop in the sleigh with Santa and go anywhere, where would you go? Well, the kids and I were studying Asia and we learned about Singapore. And I didn't know much about Singapore before learning with the children. That's the bonus of being a homeschool mom, right? <laughs> yes. And I thought it sounded really interesting. So yeah, right now I'm thinking, let's try Singapore. But of course, I'd go anywhere Santa would take me outside of Canada, right? Like, yeah. I don't I think love Santa your has sense COVID of adventure -like stuff, right? Santa doesn't have to follow those rules, so. Thankfully, yes. <laughs> I bet even if he did wear a mask, though, it would be like 
the coolest mask. We'd all be so jealous. It would probably be like sparkly and his wife probably made it all fancy. And it probably sings jingle bells. Do, 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 But then how would he eat all the cookies? He'd have to have, we'd have to get Lisa with Tupperware to hook him up with like all these Tupperware containers and his sleigh to bring the cookies home. Well, or he, he can have like those. Mask off to eat, so. True. You know those like fake ones that you've seen on like Amazon where they're like, they look like a mask and then you open and it opens? Like, have you seen those funny ones that they're like yes. masks? Oh, they're so it's like, looks like a mask and then you open and you just put it through the mask. <laughs> it's, like a, it's got like a hole in the middle. Anyways, Santa Claus probably does have the coolest mask. <laughs> <laughs> but mm -hmm. I think we agree with him living up in the North Pole. He probably doesn't need one. Or maybe he needs one more because he doesn't, like, I'm sure the elves, like me, don't get sick. Yeah, so anyways, <laughs> no more COVID talk, but let's talk about Christmas. <laughs> yes. Um, so, Sarah, did you think of a question? Um, um, no. Um, did you think of a question? <laughs> no, this is all you. <laughs> Okay, give me a um, second. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Um, so uh, let me start by saying for those of you who maybe haven't watched the rest of these awesome interviews, um, at the end of every interview, we have a question that Cheryl, you don't answer this question. Um, <laughs> but we have at the end of a week, at the end of this, the market, this like huge, huge, huge grand prize giveaway that mm -hmm. has like awesome gifts from all the vendors in it. And to be entered to win, you have to be able to answer, um, the questions that we're going to ask and don't post the answer below the video. Uh, you have to private message it, the answer to either me or Maria so that we can get your answer and you're not giving it away to everybody else because then we'll be special anymore so um your question for this video is um um <laughs> it's getting um let me think um okay maria you gotta help me out here i got one i got one okay all right so um cheryl used the what is it called the border the border uh what's that machine the called? border maker system yeah, the border maker system. And there was a few things that she showed, a few border pictures. That's a good question. Um, there was stockings, cars, and a few more. What were the other ones? Stockings, cars, and was there two or three more? Two more. Two more, right. That's what I have. So what are the other two borders that she showed besides stockings and cars? Answer that to me and Sarah, and you're in the draw. You're on the ball, Maria, because I was like, ah, I don't know what to ask. Good on you. Good on you. We have to think of these questions on the spots, and it's like 1030 at night when we're filming this right now. So. <laughs> um, so thank you so much, Cheryl, for helping us. To, yes. Um, light the, the spark under my butt again for scrapbooking. And um, it's been awesome to get to see what you have. Um, I know that you gave me a little Christmas box of cards for the prize and I was like, that is so cool. Um, so there's so many options. Um, you can be super creative or you can be not so creative and then have a little guidance and make amazing things. So I'm excited. Well, thank you ladies. Thanks for doing this shopper spotlight. It was a lot of fun tonight. And I knew the answers to all the questions, so woo! <laughs> Yay! I think you, you deserve a cup of eggnog. <laughs> I think I'll go for a walk. <laughs> fine, fine. Bye, you guys. Have a great night. Bye. See you. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Bye.